What's going on YouTube? Today I am bringing you an update of what I've been doing recently. Um, yeah, because you probably noticed that I haven't gotten a video up in like two weeks or something, but um, that's because I haven't been doing much in Nerf recently. Um, I've been concentrating on school and concentrating on other things besides Nerf. Um, I've also been working more on Legos recently, so I'm probably going to put an update on my Lego channel today also, uh, because I've actually done quite a bit. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, one thing I have done recently, I did a lot of these today, I got some new foam in from McMaster, I got all the supplies I needed in from McMaster to make some new slugs, Stefan slugs, anyway, yeah, uh, in case y'all didn't remember the original slugs I had, the orange ones that I used with my Inferno, um, those weren't that good because basically I just stuck to make the tips at least, I just stuck a piece of half inch CPVC in and I printed it and then I cut it out with a X-Acto knife and it didn't look that professional and they weren't sticky back so I kind of had to like stick the washer in with hot glue and then stick it in and didn't, it didn't work out that well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be selling all those, at least I'll be keeping a few of them, but now since I've got this new material in from McMaster, um, that's what I've been doing. So yeah, first I cut up all the foam, these are still 1.5 inches or approximately that. Um, I have a dart press, basically, which is basically a piece of one inch, uh, six inches of one inch PVC, and then a slit right here to where it's 1.5. I just cut it with a razor blade, and uh, it comes out pretty well. Um, I sometimes have to cut it a little shorter because um, the pads that I'll talk about in a second are actually one one eighth of an inch thick, so I cut it a little short. They may be a little bit over uh, 1.5 inches or a little bit less, but that's okay because um, when I do the blaster which I'll show you in a minute when I do the blaster the clips are going to be approximately that they don't have to be exact but they got to be helping uh, if you don't know what that is stuffing modding clips is when you uh, put a stopper in the back of your clip let me get a clip here okay so you have your clip and let's say anyway I'm just gonna show you these right now but anyway here's uh, the darts I was talking about um, it's 1.5 inches again with a number six zinc coated washer and then a foam pad. Uh, what's it called? Not foam. Not foam. Um, what am I trying to think? Felt, felt pad. These are felt pads, white felt pads from McMaster on it. And now they're a lot more padded and they probably, they cover up most of the metal now. So you can't really even tell that there's a washer in there on most of them. Anyway, yeah, so... As I was saying, you step in mod clips by doing this, because as you can see, this is way too short, and if you press it down, it'll kind of get stuck and all loosey-goosey in here if you get it wrong. So basically, step in mod and clips is what you do. You put, let's say I have like a few toothpicks lined up. You put them on both sides, and you cut down the sled, and so it makes the dart stay straight whenever it comes up or down. This clip's being a little flimsy on me because it's not step in modded yet. Um, but yeah, so it'll keep them in line whenever you're trying to fire it out of a gun that is accepts Stefan darts so yeah that's it basically what I've been trying to do uh, I still need to get the, uh, some supplies for that because I'm probably going to Lowe's today and get some new stuff um, anyway yeah so you saw these these are the new darts I made I made quite a few here where's my box um, yeah <clears throat> I made these like today and last night um, yeah anyway um, yeah, as you can see, here's the uh, newer foam I have. It may be a little thicker. I can't see if you can tell this or not. Give me a second, guys. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I think the one on your left, the one on your left, I believe, is the one that um, is the new one. And the one on the right, I believe, is the older. Uh, this is older. This is the newer. Um, as you can see, the older is a little lighter colored and this is a little darker. I believe that's because this is thicker than this. Because if you look at it, don't they look a little thicker? Uh, I mean, these do. Then these look out. And when you, when you, you, I can't do this for y'all, but when you push it, this one has a little more resistance when you uh, smush it. And so this tells you that this has thicker foam and it will work better and be more resilient when you should have a barrel a few times. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about those. Okay, now on to my uh, recent projects. I haven't been doing anything custom blasters. I've been trying to work on that reflex I was telling y'all about, but that thing's just turned into crap. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it ever. 
because I made a stupid mistake when I was modding it. I have a few ideas on what I could do with it, but I don't know if I'll be able to fix it. Anyway, but yeah, I am moving on to one of, uh, probably this will be, this will be the biggest project I've ever done. This is going to take at least, probably, at least three months to finish because it's a big blaster. I'll give you a hint here. This is the blaster I'm starting with. Oh yes, it's a long shot. It's amazing. I know. This is the most moddable blaster. This is arguably the most moddable blaster in Nerf history. This between the Maverick and the long shot, but probably this one because it's bigger and you can integrate stuff into it. Anyway, but yeah, um, I am going to be doing a modded long shot. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to integrate. It's going to be really awesome though. Um, I'm, this is going to take a long time because this is all new to me. I'm trying to learn how to make a Stefan accepting brass breech. Y'all know what that is. Um, I can, I'll show y'all a video. I'll click here for that on how to make one. That's actually what I'm going off of is that video right there. So it's going to be difficult to do, but I think I will be able to do it. Um, it'll be really, really awesome whenever I get this done. I believe it will be able to get 70 feet flat. If I can achieve that, I'll be pretty happy with that. Um, Probably, I can probably get higher with that, with this, but, you know. Um, anyway, it'll still have the same capabilities that it does now. It'll be clip-fed, except it's going to have an integrated blaster, as I said here, and it's going to have a stock block. Um, so, and I'm going to withhold the name of this secret blaster before I, not secret. I'm going to withhold, withhold this name of the blaster, I'm going to name it, <laughs> because it is, I'll give you a hint, it has something to do with music. Um, which some of y'all probably wouldn't appreciate, but whatever. Um, so yeah. So, um, this has just been a quick update about what I've been doing Nerf related. Um, if you want to go check out my new Lego update, click here, because I really need some views <laughs> and subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to both my channels, please go do that. Link to my uh, Lego channel in the description below. Um, so yeah. This has been the NerfCon 1 with the update and the update of my doings. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.